And with Galaxy AI, we're preparing for the beginning of an entirely new era of digital health. Let's start where your day ends, with sleep. It plays an important role in your overall wellness. So, Samsung Health has focused our efforts on helping you to get better rest. Samsung Health works with the Galaxy ecosystem to help you understand your sleep patterns. It gives you an intuitive sleep score and personalized coaching to help you build habits that improve your sleep quality. Later this year, with Galaxy AI, we're going to take it a step further by introducing new smart sleep analysis indices to provide you with even more insights about your health patterns and information to ask your healthcare professionals about. For instance, HR alerts will work even while you sleep to let you know if your heart rate is elevated. According to the National Sleep Foundation, roughly 25% of men and 10% of women in the US suffer from obstructive sleep apnea. Early recognition of this underdiagnosed disease can lead to timely intervention, yielding improved sleep quality, better blood pressure control, and improved cognitive function. By leveraging our bioactive sensor, the Samsung sleep apnea feature will be able to monitor relative blood oxygen level changes while you sleep, to identify potential disruptions in your breathing, and alert you if you're at risk for sleep apnea, so that you can speak to your doctor about possible treatments. How about that, eh? Later this year, the Samsung Watch and the Apple Watch, I believe, will be detecting sleep apnea. This is huge. High risk for moderate to severe sleep apnea based on how many decreases in blood oxygen your watch detected, you're at high risk for moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea. Talk to your doctor about this result. If you're a physician right now, a clinician, you've got a sleep lab, you better level up because there is gonna be an absolute huge influx of new patients into your practice. If you're doing home sleep studies, get prepared because yeah, it's gonna be massive. What did they say there? 25% of men in the US, 10% of women. Let's just call that ballpark. Those numbers will come down because of the rise in popularity of the GLP-1s. People will lose weight. However, just say that's ballpark. Even if we lose 10% and it comes down to 15%, it's just a huge amount of undiagnosed people with sleep apnea. And all of a sudden, if they're walking around with these things and they start vibrating because <laughs> you're not sleeping well, and every day you're looking at it and it's going, sleep apnea, sleep apnea. The missus is going, yeah, I told you so, I told you so. Or the husband, of course. It's going to be a big year for the CPAP Reviews YouTube channel, I can tell you that much. I better level up myself. Uh, I want to show you this slide quickly. Now, this chart here is a ResMed chart. It was presented at the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference recently by old mate Sexy Mick. And it basically shows us the global obstructive sleep apnea prevalence around the world. How many people have sleep apnea or how many people are impacted by sleep apnea? Along the x-axis here, you have the years, 2020, 2025, 2030, and so on. And up the y-axis, uh, how many millions, billions of people have sleep apnea? Now, this line here, this is where ResMed is right now. They've got 22.5 million ResMed-connected devices in market 2023. So they're down here right now. <laughs> And the blue line up here in the billions is the global prevalence. What ResMed is trying to demonstrate in this video is there's such a huge undiagnosed population of sleep apnea patients and ResMed will never be able to reach all of them or anywhere near all of them. It says up here, 2050, they'll have 110 million ResMed connected devices. I think they'll have probably more than that. And without pharmacological impacts of the GLP-1s, you're looking at 1.35 billion people with OSA. And in a high impact scenario, if these GLP-1s take off, 1.2 billion patients. So they're nowhere near it. They might reach maybe 10% if things go well. Now in 2023, I believe Apple sold a record 40 million Apple Watches ballpark figure. Add to that the Samsung Galaxy watches and the other wearables that might start detecting sleep apnea, your aura rings. Samsung's about to release a ring too. We'll check that out in a moment. 
got a ring con here as well. I'm running out of fingers, aren't I? But what we'll end up with is people just waking up from sleep and they'll be receiving notifications that, hey, you might have a problem. That's going to lead to a huge influx of new patients into the industry. A huge influx. So we better get ready for that. All right, let's check out Samsung's new ring. And today, we're taking the possibilities of Samsung Health to the next level by bringing Samsung Health's cutting edge innovations to a brand new form factor. We've created a powerful and accessible health and wellness device here to change the shape of future health like only Samsung can. Meet the Galaxy Ring. G'day mates, this video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.